Hi, I'm Dee with Modesty Matters. We're a business dedicated to providing products for modest-minded families. Today I'm going to teach you how to make our A-line skirt. I've laid my fabric out in such a way that my selvage is over here. That's these two edge pieces. And my fold is over here. I'm going to take my pattern, I'm going to place that against the fold. I'm going to pin this in place now, and I'm going to cut right along here, all the way around, and I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to cut along here. All right, now I have my piece pinned on my material. I'm going to begin cutting right down here. And remember, I'm going to cut in the direction of the balls of these pins, not in the direction of the point. Right, now that I've cut one side of the skirt out, I'm going to cut the other side out. That means I'm going to move my pattern piece down and do the exact same thing. I'm going to cut here, here, and here, but stop. I'm not going to cut along here. All right, now I'm going to remove our pins. I'm going to take our pattern pieces off. Now here we have the two pattern pieces. And when we open that amount up, you're going to see how beautiful the skirt's going to be. Very nice and very flowing. But what I'm going to do is take my material and open both pieces up and lay them right sides together. Just like this. Line their edges up. Just like this. And I'm going to pin that in place. Now you're pinning what's going to be the side seams of your skirt. Now once I've finished pinning this side of my fabric, I'm going to flip the skirt over just like this and I'm going to line up this right along here, this other side seam, and I'm going to pin it in place. Now you notice I did pin on opposite sides of the fabric, and I'll show you why in just a moment. But let's take our piece to the sewing machine and straight stitch at 5 8 inch down our side seam. Right, what I've done is I've taken a piece of tape and I've marked 5 8 inch. So I'm going to sew my seam with my material following right up along that edge. Okay, I'm going to begin by lowering my presser foot coming over to my balance wheel and lowering my needle. I'm going to stitch forward and then I'm going to stitch backward several stitches to begin that seam. Okay, I come to the end of the seam and reverse and I stitch off the Now watch seam. how I flip it over. I flip it over to sew so that I can still follow that 5 8 inch mark. With my needle in needle down position, I'm going to stitch forward, I'm going to stitch back, and I'm going to continue all the way down that seam. Alright, now that we've straight stitched both sides of our skirt, we're going to come back and we're going to zigzag stitch to finish those seams and keep them from fraying. Now remember, I go right along the raw edge of the seam. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. straight stitched and I zigzag stitched to finish that seam. 
Now I'm going to set those stitches by pressing. All right, now we get to practice the technique of using a fold down casing. Remember, we first of all fold down one half inch and we press it. And we're going to do that all the way around. Now that we're pressing this down, we're going to make sure our seam is going in the same direction. Pressing it this way. And over here, I'm pressing it that way too. Now since we're using 3 quarter inch no roll elastic, we're going to press again our casing down one and a quarter inches. That way we're pressing exactly one half inch larger than our elastic. I set my gauge to one and a quarter. And I'm going to press that all the way around. And this time I'm going to pin it. And now I've turned this in one and a quarter inches, I've pressed it all the way around, and I've pinned it all the way around. Now I've also left a spot right here two inches wide, pin here and a pin here so that I can visually see it and know when to stop. We're going to leave that spot open. We're not going to stitch it closed just yet because we need that to put our elastic in. So let's take this to the sewing machine and straight stitch. Now I'm going to straight stitch with the edge of my material right along the edge of my presser foot. I'm going to go forward, back, and I'm going to straight stitch all the way around the spacing. Stopping to remove pins. And be sure you have your hand position right, and be sure you go slow enough to have full control of your fabric. We're going to go do this all the way around, leaving that two inch opening for the elastic. Now I've gone all the way around, and again, I've left two inch opening for the elastic. Now the next thing we're going to do is take two safety pins. We're going to attach one to this end, and we're going to use the other one to attach this piece of elastic to the outside of our casing, just like this. Now I'm going to take the free pin and I'm going to insert it into our casing. Now I'm going to push it and pull it, being careful not to twist it. I'm going to do this all the way around. Okay, now I've come out the other end. Now I'm going to take the safety pins off. And I'm going to pull these two pieces out. I'm going to overlap them in such a way that I can stitch this piece of elastic together several times, a straight stitch, just up and down and up and down several times. Now before you do that, you're going to make sure that the elastic is not twisted anywhere. You're going to have to feel all the way around and make sure it's laying nice and flat inside your casing. Now I've lowered that presser foot and the needle, so now I can take the pin out, and I'm going to stitch forward and I'm going to stitch backwards several times. Now that I've stitched my elastic together, I'm going to pull it back into that casing, and I'm going to take this back to the sewing machine, and I'm going to close that two inch hole in the casing. Now we're going to follow the seam that we already had there, that's a straight stitch a quarter inch from the edge. And there we have it, what a beautiful fold down casing that is. The next thing we're going to do is the hem. Now for our hem, we're going to use the technique that we practiced called a machine stitched rolled hem. Now remember, to do that, we first 
fold our fabric in one half inch and press it. And we're going to do that all the way around our skirt. Now that I've pressed this in one half inch, I'm going to turn it again and I'm going to press it all the way around the skirt one more time. I had another half inch and this time I'm going to pin it in place. All right, now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to straight stitch one quarter inch from this fold, just like that. Okay, I always like to start by a, next to a seam. Coming to the end, and I'm going to back up and go forward done. The only thing I have left now is to set those stitches. Congratulations, you did it! A beautiful A-line skirt. Please join us at ModestyMatters.net for other great projects to download.